freaking video. <sighs> Start again. So fashion croquis are divided into nine sections. Uh, 10 if you include the floor, if you're gonna put shoes on a pointed foot. We have A, B, C, and A, B, C coming out from the center. These are gonna help us just keep our proportionate lines. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the head, which goes in this section number one. And you need to draw it more of an oval and you need to keep it within the A line and the B lines. So can't draw around. Can you see that very well? Don't need to turn off these lights. I think that will help. If it's not blurry, let me. Does that help at all? Okay, so I'm gonna skip the neck. I'm not gonna put in any of the connection lines. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put in all our base points and then you can connect your lines however you want to draw them. The next thing we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw the shoulder and it comes right in at this one and a half times the distance of our head and it goes from C to C. So it's gonna go all the way across this line. Now, if I draw it straight across this line, this means my mannequin's gonna stand with square shoulders. If I'm doing a really fashion croaky and you want action or movement, you'll just kilt the shoulders off to one side and have it be just a little bit slanted. But you still wanna keep it right in proximity of this uh, 1.5, uh, halfway in the shoulder section and between C and C. Does that make sense? So if I was gonna kilt the shoulders, I'd probably draw a line more like this, just so she could drop one shoulder. Now the difference, the distance between your shoulder line and the apex, this is your arms eye circumference. And you're gonna stick right out here on C cause that's where the ends of your arms are. So you're just gonna put little armpits. Okay, now we're moving down into section three. This is where your arms would be hanging by your side. The bottom of this line would be your elbow. Somewhere in the middle of this, we are doing a bust line. It's not actually in the middle, it's in the top third. And it's gonna be on line B. So just give her a bust line. A little bit of a curvy in there so you know where those bumps are going to be. I did ask Fitum about if they had this same type of worksheet to do a male sloper and they don't. I'm like, you're a fashion school. You should be able to have this for a male croaky, but I think proportionately it would just work out. I think it would just be longer and wider. Okay. So after we have the bust line, then our elbows are going to come right at this line. Um, I've never met anybody whose elbows really actually come to this line. So we're gonna put the elbows just slightly below the line and they are gonna go to the outside of C. So I'm just gonna make little ovals right where my elbows would be. Notice that they're outside of C. Your waistline is in this section right at 2.5 and it's gonna stay um, between the B lines. Your hip line is gonna curve out here, but at the bottom of four, right below this, this becomes your crotch line. And it's gonna come down about a fourth, of the, I mean a third of the way. So I'm just gonna draw like bikini bottoms. So I know where the bottom of the leg opening would be. About halfway in this opening right outside of C is where my wrist lines would be. If you think about how your body hangs, how your arms hang your wrist line is about at full hip, or slightly below. Depends on how long your legs are, I guess. We're gonna skip 
six all together and we're gonna put kneecaps within the A to B line right below this line. So we're just gonna draw some patellas on here. Then skip the calves, skip the shins, and right down here at the ankles, halfway in between A and B, that's your ankle point. And if your feet are pointed, then they are going to be your toes are pointing down here at the floor. Okay, 